Good morning and Merry Christmas to you, my friends. It's great to be coming to you on this Christmas morning. And I wanted to share the lighting of our Advent candle now that we are officially in Christmas tide. The first Sunday of Advent, we uh, lit the candle of hope. And then we lit the candle of peace and then joy, and then love, and Christmas Eve. Last night we lit the candle, the Christ candle there in the center. And so our candles remind us of the light that overcomes the darkness. And I wanted to share with you one of my favorite Christmas scriptures, which comes from the Gospel of John. Chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. And I hope you'll give your attention today to the reading of God's Word. Let it wash over you this Christmas day. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word was with God in the beginning. Everything came into being through the Word, and without the Word, nothing came into being. What came into being through the word was life, and the life was the light for all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness doesn't extinguish the light. This is the word of God on this holy day for us, the people of God, and we give God thanks. So I wanted to share with you today a brief reflection from Henry Nouwen, one of my favorites, and he writes this about what it means to truly be able to celebrate Christmas. God came to us because he wanted to join us on the road, to listen to our story, and to help us realize that we are not walking in circles, but moving toward the house of peace and joy. This is the great mystery of Christmas that continues to give us comfort and consolation. We are not alone. On our journey. The God of love who gave us life sent his only Son to be with us at all times and in all places 
so that we never have to feel lost in our struggles, but always can trust that he walks with us. The challenge is to let God be who he wants to be. A part of us clings to our aloneness and does not allow God to touch us where we are most in pain. Often we hide from him precisely those places in ourselves where we feel guilty, ashamed, confused, and lost. Thus, we do not give him a chance to be with us where we feel most alone. So Christmas is the renewed invitation not to be afraid and to let him, whose love is greater than our own hearts and minds can comprehend, to be our companion. Friends, this celebration of Christmas is really that God would come again to be with us, to remind us that we are not alone, and actually to be one of us. And so that is our reason for celebrating this day. 